My name is Xavier, and welcome to Frames Per Second, which I mean an invasion. Always a good sign when you start an invasion and you get zero frames for about 10 straight seconds. You know there's definitely not too many enemies on the map. Speak <gasps> Speaking of, we got ourselves a little bit of the old relay on the roof, wouldn't you know. It is still really far away, so I gotta get someone down there to get vision on it, but then I can sharpshoot it across the universe. I think actually one hit for over ten and it just falls through the roof and we win. I'm pretty much expecting the reinforcements uh, to start dropping on like turn two and every turn thereafter. So, I brought Sean. Where the hell is Sean? Sean! Hello? Oh, here he is. I, I gave him Alma's gun. I swapped his gun for Alma and Alma now has Sean's rifle. Reason being that Sean is Decked in mobility gear. I dropped off his shredder rounds. Uh, I didn't realize he was shaken. Uh, he's shaken, though. So I also gave him the first ever spider suit. He's got super high mobility. He's got an SMG. He can fly. Look at this. Sean can fly higher. Oh my god. We have to go far, though, to see anything. So even if I Oscar Mike him, command him, and also grapple him, he might actually be able to see that thing right now. But. Uh, anyway, I really need to kill that thing pretty much like yesterday. All of my sharpshooters should be able to shoot it from up here, though, so we're fine on that front. I also brought Razor to scout. Also, Constantine is here as well. He can scout because he's got Phantom. Better to scout with Razor, though. He has an SMG for reduced uh, reduced detection range. All right, so we'll fly up here with him. Look around. It did say light moderate when I was launching the mission, so that might be true. 60. Oh, Hello. Oh, yeah, great! Wonderful! I've watched six feet and already I found a sector pod. Well... That happens. Uh, the thing is, though, I, I really can't screw around with this. I have got to get on the roof, so let's come up here with Zawadi. We'll steady and ready. Same deal here for myself, I think. Or, you know what, can I just get everyone down the street without activating as much as possible? Oh, bloody hell. I really want to get shot super far, but we can't risk going that far. Oh, boy. Uh, we'll move him that far anyway, and we'll see what happens here. We'll get me probably up there to do the sharpshooting as well. Constantine, you actually have concealment, so you can run down here probably. Uh, meanwhile, Faraday, you need to go up on the roof. Philippe, you could probably move down here. Great. Bit of the old Overwatch. Ian, great. I feel like I should be moving further, but I can't move too much further without activating. So all my get over there. Awesome. Now so I can see if I can get Faraday up. No, can't quite. I can get him on the roof, but I can't get him steadied. That's fine. We'll get him up there regardless. We'll get me up here. I can also steady. I uh, additionally have four weapon slots on everybody, so I've made use of that and filled everybody up to four slots. Meanwhile, steady. And I think EN needs to do pistol overwatch. I have to remember to actually do that manually. Fantastic. Otherwise, quick end turn. I don't know what's going to happen with the sectopod. I, don't, I really don't have the time to screw... Boy. That's what the sectopod does with its life, huh? I really don't have time to screw around with this. Oh, what the? Munir Khan was murdered by a sectopod. Who the heck's Munir Khan? Oh, hello. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> I guess we're going. What the Philippe? <laughs> I also gave him an elite hair trigger, by the way. Hello, elite hair trigger, 43% hit for all of that snake. Apparently we're fighting a chrysalid now, and we got a whole bunch of overwatch, including Sean's SMG, which I doubt's gonna hit. Uh, yeah, 28%, 20. Alma's rifle, though, is gonna hit for 11 EN pistol! Ah, I thought I did good there for once. Jenny 5, don't over- uh, overkill. Hit for fit. whoa! Boy, we got Sentinel, forgot a- Really? Oh my. Well, that's how I play the game. Freaking concealments for losers anyway. I can't- the thing just YOLO'd out of nowhere. Flew up here and activated anyway. It's fine. Everything's fine. Reinforcements don't go red. Okay, reinforcements are already yellow. Next turn they're going red, and at that point I have to have this thing dead. That seems easy. Make the game a little harder, please. It, honestly, if this- if this thing wasn't on the roof, uh... Pretty sure this would be a straight loss. Even with my hyper-mobility... Uh, Sean, wherever the hell Sean is. By the way, this mission's bugged, if you don't already know. Uh, and the reinforcements are coming way too soon and way too often. I'm supposed to have more than two turns before they show up. And I think they're going to be every turn after, every single turn. Yeah, even with Sean, there's no way he can get even close to that thing to both battles. And luckily, we're going to shoot across the universe and take it down. So, 
Uh, Sectopod has to die, I think. We don't have any shots on it. I could actually move up here, though. And, well, I have a snake that's kind of being a doofus. I don't like that guy none. Do we have any lightning reflex? Nope, no such thing. Well, Thinky McPinky, friends. Thinky McPinky. How does, oh, actually, Razor can just freaking hit and run the thing because we don't need concealment anymore. So that happens. Of course, the Sectopod's on Overwatch, but that's not a huge deal. If we hit and run this thing, we still get the opportunity to shoot or slice as we choose. Um, which is probably going to end up being shoot. Does Razor have anything good to shoot? No, not really. All right, well, we can at least wipe the Overwatch out. And then, you know what? He could shoot the Sectopod and wipe that Overwatch out. 69%, 70% over here, or hit and run. Boy, his odds aren't so fantastic, but they're fantastic enough, Razor. Oh, but 84%. All right, let's try it again then. 95 this time. Thank you. You want some more? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't get it. I, I I didn't get it. All right, rapid target now. Obviously on the sectopod. We have to kill this thing and just we have to run through this thing while killing it. Like no time to slow down. What can we shred with? Well, we do have shred on Constantine. However. However, we have a cyclic fire which only shoots once, so it's only going to shred once. Did I bring like a plasma? Oh, um, alien? What the hell is this thing? Acid grenade? I did, but I couldn't actually deploy it even if I wanted to. I could just shoot a rocket launcher down the street though and take out a whole bunch of stuff with Alma, which seemingly makes a little bit of sense. Let's go for it. 28 tiles, salvo, boom. No more overwatch. Fantastic. Hit for three with a crit. Tread for two. Hit for nine. Snakes exposed. Beautiful. Now we can get in there and do whatever the heck it is we want to do. Who else has some shred for me? Oh, I actually... Sean had shred, but I took the shutter ammo off so I could run faster. Now I'm kind of re regretting it. Also, he cannot panic or I think we might lose the game. Johnny Five has shred. Uh, he could definitely move down here and probably shoot twice, honestly, at the sectopod. Did we already do the rapid hollow target, whatever the heck? I think I did. Let's take a quick look. 92. The hollow targeted. Yes, we did. Great. Let's toss up an overdrive with Johnny Five. Fantastic. Double shred, no armor. All you, Johnny Five. Also, double rupture. God, does he hit like a truck. An absolute truck! Yep! Sectopods are just no match for him. Well, he grazed. Of course. Of course. There was an 8% chance we would graze, so of course we graze. Let's try it again, Johnny Five. Now there's an 11% chance you'll graze. Nice. Shoot it right in the face. That time you didn't graze. No more armor, 15 damage, double rupture. Hey, guys. Okay, well, I could use a, a Constantine, but he does have concealment. Maybe I should hold on to it. Damn it. Philippe actually can't use his cyclic because we're not far enough away. I could run up here and command if I really wanted to, but I don't think I really need to. Although, I might need to. I could also command a double rapid fires, which, by the way, stacks rupture every time versus the cyclic. So, I think I'm just going to go for, worst case, double... Um, Double rapid fighters, 18 to 22, huh? That seems odd to me. 18 to 22. Okay, so it's actually double that. Well, that's actually a ton of damage. Okay, let's go for it. Philippe, 18 to 22, times two. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> it looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Again, more, give me more. Okay, 22 and 23. We, did he just, did Philippe just Double max roll a sectopod? Is that what I am to understand? I believe the answer is a resounding yes. Boy, I could pop cereal right now and probably wreck everything on the map. Uh, however, I'm going to use Zawadi first. We're going to go for a double tap. We're going to go for the sectopod first. He can do 15 to 20. Looks good to me. Double tap. 55% crit. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, dragon rounds. I gave him that thing a while ago. He's got that. Hit for 16. Beautiful. Should I go for a dead eye now? 100%. Sure. We, we can just push right through the sectopod. We got places to be, things to do. Get out of the way, you doofus. 33 damage. So necessary. Pop a steady here as well. Is there some kind of weird thing here that's going to block my line of sight? I don't think so. I think we'll be able to shoot all the way across the map, no problem. Speaking of shooting all the way across the map, no problem. Hey, guys. My name's Xavier, and welcome to my rifle. Bye, Snake. Have a good time. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, Fatter Day, I probably actually just want to keep him there and keep his ammo for cereal. So instead, we just move EN up here and shoot this thing with a pistol or something? I don't know. 
Keep out our concealment as well. We do have a lightning hand. Eh, boy, that's a bad shot. You know what? I'm going to take it. Okay, let's go for it. 41% EN. Not nah, oh, well, hit for two. Not that nice. Barely a hit. I need to actually think this through because I might want to do a clutch shot or I might want to do a combat protocol. I really want to make sure this thing's dead. We only have a 41% there. I don't want to blow concealment on Constantine. I do not want to stop with Sean to shoot. I want to get him down the road, assuming Constantine can run. Well, actually, we can find out right now if Constantine can run by running with Constantine. So let's do that. Running with Constantine, friends. That's the name of the game. Also, how exactly... Wow, that is so dangerous running around a corner like that. I could run around a corner like this. That's less dangerous. Okay, nothing. That's very good. Um... So, I need to get Sean probably just dashed all the way down here, and then next turn he can move up, grapple, hopefully get or move again, definitely get vision. Hopefully just get the vision after the grapple, like move... Boy, I kind of need Alma up there to give him an Oscar mic, and maybe even a command, so he can move up, see the thing, we can shoot it, and then run away. Uh, we may even activate doing this as well, which is a problem. Let's find out. Oh, we did. I think we did. No, we didn't. We didn't. It just, for whatever reason, it felt laggy. Whew. Okay. Good. Uh, I definitely want to move Alma up then to potentially be able to run up and at least give an Oscar Mike if I need to or something like that. And that means I only have two options for killing this snake. Either Faraday, who can guarantee a kill, but then we'll have one less ammo for a serial chain. Does a serial chain really matter? Because I also have an auto loader on Faraday. I have an elite auto loader. So I can do, yeah, I can do like. 19 shots instead of 20. Oh, no! All right, Fatter Day from LA. Fatter Day from LA. That sounds like something someone would say if they're super freaking lazy. I eat me. Uh, meanwhile, Ian, should I just run? Just runny McHoney? I think I should. 25, you're done. And Alma, run. Well, we killed six things out of like 16 to 18. And we're done. Reinforcements are going red. I do have... Oh, oh. Oh, right. What the? Why? How did you just... Ali Khan! I actually remember Ali Khan. What the hell was that? He just got punched across the map. He literally was punched across the map. Like, no joke. Like, actually punched across the map. All right, Constantine's in position. However, he cannot get vision on the radar tower. Or whatever the heck it is. Any chance we could grapple up there? No. All right. I would have to move then with Sean. That means we're going to activate if I do that. Uh, Constantine could come down here and vision a little bit. Maybe I can activate those guys with, like, shooting them in the head or something. Let's go find out. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I got to kill this thing now to screw the reinforcements over. How can I do this? Please. Hey, Sean, if he moves once... Will he even be able to see it from up here? No. Boy. And it, it doesn't really matter if I give him Oscar Mike. Because he's just going to grapple. Like, he only needs to move a few tiles anyway. I guess I should have run him into the middle of the street. As usual. Why didn't I think of that? we got to get the vision right now. So I think I might need to command him. I could run up here with Alma and give him a command right now. But only if I run into the middle of the street. Then he could move, grapple, move, get vision, and still be able to move away. I want to do it. Okay, almost moved up into position. Toss a command now on Sean. He was going to... My, my original plan was to just get him in there and both battles the thing. But since it's on the roof, we can just do it this way. I think. If I could click on him. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, go. What's over there? We may activate, like, the whole universe doing this, but what are you going to do? All right, we can come up here, or I can... You know what? This is actually pretty dicey, because I have to get up there. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to activate doing this, I Take think. Yep. Road. A poof. Had to be done, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, do we see the tower? We're activating half the universe, like, super spread out. But you know what? I think I can actually maybe just control this robot with Ian. Or maybe that robot. I don't know what the heck he just said, but we got a purple freaking monkey guy over here. Oh, and we have an Overwatch, which I didn't concern myself with in the slightest. And Sean can't even get there by one. Wait, can we... 
Can I position myself? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have. I have. Okay, Ian, where are you? Ian, hello, hello. There you are. Okay, if I move Ian up, we will be able to hack these guys. All right, let's try that. Ian, move on up. Although the other thing I could do is toss an aid protocol with a fortify on, on Sean, and we just run up there and pray for luck. Which is an option. Not a bad one either. Sean may not live through this, but if I can control this mech. 72%. All right, let's check the variance. Come on, Ian. Can once in your existence you do a hack of something? Please max roll variance. Nope, we actually low rolled it to 68. Well... Uh, this kind of sucks as I have to choose between the aid. The aid protocol with this gremlin is plus 30. So we'd have plus 50% defense on Sean. Just like by default. Plus he has, I think, 5 defense from the grapple. I remember seeing that. So 55 defense. But there's going to be like 700 things active. Is there any tile I can go to that I can see this tower without actually being up there? What the heck? Oh, no, there's not. Because the, I think it's because it's behind this thing over there. I'd have to come, like, in this direction. Look at this. There's, like, nothing. There's nowhere to... Is the game lying to me? No, because when I come up here, I have line of sight on it. Anywhere up here, I have line of sight. Anywhere over here? No. Nowhere. Anywhere down here? No. Anywhere on the entire map? No. Nope. I've got to get... This is so lame. One... Literally one tile away from getting where I need to be. Seeing it and then running away. Well... I mean, the one good thing is that if I did aid protocol him and fortify and then dash, we wouldn't have to worry about the overwatch so much. But I mean, we're going to have to worry about everything else. Although then again, where he is, nothing will be able to see him. But then again, everyone can shoot him. Can I kill some of these things before I decide on what's happening? No, because I have to use all my sharpshooters to shoot the relay to kill it right now. Ugh. Assuming they can even do that. <laughs> oh boy. I really needed a second aid protocol, it looks like. 25's got nothing. Nobody's got anything. We're a thousand miles away from everything. Almost just standing in the street. Philippe's nowhere nearby. Constantine's invisible. 68% to control the mech. If I control the mech... Well, will the... Okay, first of all, the mech doesn't actually see, right? No, because that... So then we're going to be standing up there... If... This is awful. All right, let's to toss the fortify on Sean. Um, Ian, hello? Aid protocol. Sean? There we go. Yeah, so 50 defense on Sean. Good luck! Just surviving through all that stuff, and now we're going to dash up there someplace. Yeah. Eee, but where? If I come here, I can get hit a lot. If I come here, I'm more safe, but I risk activating. All right, here we go. Probably activate more. I don't know. Yeah, that Overwatch isn't going to hit. The Overwatch hit. 16% with 20 grace. How the hell is that possible? He had 50 defense, and he was dashing. What? Okay, now, though, hello, guys. We've done it. We have, But I don't have my double tap. Damn it, but I do have precision shot. But I need dead eye. I need dead eye and double tap. I actually can't kill this thing right now, I don't think. Maybe. And then if I do kill it, I actually lose my armor on Sean. <laughs> I can't believe he got hit by that. Well, uh, we're not going to use our cereal, so let's just go for it. 9 to 14, Fatter Day, cross map from elevation. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about the bug. Oh my god, and we made a hole in the ground, and now they all spotted Sean. <laughs> oh no. What have I done? What have I done, Sean? Oh no. No, Sean, no. All right, we're going to run up here. Well, at least there's not going to be any more than this group of reinforcements. So you can take comfort in that, I suppose. We'll just overwatch. But I, there's no way Sean's surviving this, I don't think. I'm going to go for steadies back here. 
or I could move and steady, but there's probably more stuff up here, so I'm just going to steady where I am. Great. Johnny Five, Overwatch, where you are. And we'll do a steady back here. Oh, steady. Yeah, steady weapon. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, boy. That. If I had just been able to go up there, see it, shoot it, it blew up, and then I ran away. I mean, that would have been great. We got heavy mech. Oh, some kind of, like, yellow caped crusader. Oh, right in the middle of us. This is actually great, because now I get all my Overwatch shots I otherwise wouldn't have gotten. Okay, we'll start with Flea! Ooh, ooh, missed. Oh, well. I was really excited about that one. Journey 5, though, doesn't miss. Hits for 9. And we had the Sentinel, but for whatever reason, we only... Oh, we only had one ammo. What is all... What am I... Oh. Right. I still have to save everybody. Hugo Rocher. Murdered by a gunner. I don't know who he is. Here comes a bizarre... Oh, God. Bye shot. Well, he does have 50 defense, so... I mean... What are you doing, officer? Okay, he's dashing. Stun Lancer's getting pretty aggressive. Thinks he can do something. Gonna shoot Razor in the street. Oh, bad move. Bad move, Stun Lancer. Mech is now going after Sean. Sean's like, suppressed. How is he still alive? Oh, God. Bye, Sean. You, this thing could hit you while you were moving. Certain, what? It can't hit you while you're stationary, but it could hit you while you were moving? Now all these little guys are shooting through the holes at Sean. 25%. No, he's poisoned. No, Advent has poison rounds, apparently. Someone else died. Matilde Milano. I don't know who that... Another shout at Sean, but this time at least we have the cover. 4% somehow. Oh, what is even... Oh, no! Ilona Starostina. This is awful. Everyone's about to get murdered here. Poor Sean. All right, we got to get him out of there somehow. He's still poisoned. You got a whole rooftop full of fun. And we've got all these guys behind us. Whew. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of stuff. Well, I can shoot this guy for 14 to 19 with 60% crit. Probably kill him. That could be... All of these guys have to be dealt with. I'd like to move up and do some shred storming. Ooh. Another thing I could do is haywires. Yeah, because I didn't do that last turn. Seven. If I could, if I actually did that, I'd break the con uh, concealment. That would be fantastic. Um. All right, Razor, can you get a hit and run anywhere? Razor, hello. Can I click on you? Razor, hello. Hello. There we go. All right. Razor can come over here, hit and run this doofus, and then if I wanted to, probably continue to run over here and slice this guy. Alternatively, he could run down here and just slice the stun lancer. This might not be a bad... <gasps> Constantine! Oh, he's not steadied, but he does have Lone Wolf at this present moment in time. And he does have a Shred Storm that can hit super far and actually shred everybody. But that's it. Including my own potential mech if I wanted to control that mech. So that might not be the smartest plan. Uh... Hmm. Um... Too many things. Too many things. Can't decide on what to do. There's so many things. Okay, Philippe has the blue screen around, so he could probably kill one of these guys. Probably the big one, right? 60%. We can get a bit of elevation, get a better odd. Then again, we'd have to move, and he's got an overwatch, so probably not. Now, we can shoot all the way across the universe here. Oh, that mech would be nice to kill. That mech we can control. This officer. Oh, Boy, would I like to kill that. Contro I need to control the mech. That's number one on the task list. So, we don't have any red screen. We already used our lightning hands. The only thing we can do is airdrop, then. There's nothing else I'm really going to do here. Do I want to airdrop or relocate? Everything here is going to die. We're going to guarantee that. I don't know how, but we'll guarantee it. I'll just say that I guarantee it, and then I'll make it come true somehow. Uh, let's come over here. Freaking, oh my, you're the last one. All right, let's airdrop you for number one. For number two, we're going to go for this control up here. 72? Sure. I think it was a 68, actually. That's not... I mean, come on. I think what's going to happen here is EN now being inspired by the very presence of Wade Anthony in the barracks. Like, Universal XCOM plus 25 hacking skill. EN! EN! Learn from Wade Anthony! Yes! Wait, at these very presence is inspiring Ian to actually be useful. First time. 
all campaign. This is so cool. So now the, oh, look at the mech. He's like, his head went flying all up in the air there. I never noticed that before. That's actually really awesome. All right, well, does this mean my suppression's broken or am I permanently suppressed now because it's bugged? Uh, I don't think I've ever s controlled something that was suppressing. Let's see on Sean. We are currently... No, we're actually... It did work. It did clear the suppression. Awesome. However, my heavy mech doesn't have the ability to do anything. I can, however, run away with Sean. But for right now, I'm going to stay here because we can run away later. I think. Or I could both barrels right now. Woo! What can he both barrels for? 18 to 30. That's actually surprisingly not that much. But I mean... Huh. All right. Well, that could probably kill the officer. Might maybe kill the mech, but then we're in this really awkward place where someone could, like, just run out and run up and shoot him in the back, and I really don't want him to die for all of his efforts. Uh, let's see if we can clear these things up first, right? So, the mech down there... Philippe could blue screen it, but odds aren't great. We do probably have to serial with Fetterday a little bit. What's our damage over there? 14 to 19. That's like, yeah, that's 100% for a kill. Are we steadied? Elite scope? No, we're not. All right. So the only things we can really guarantee then, not even the mech is a guarantee because a min roll would leave it with two hit points. Probably kill it, but no guarantee. Serial anything else, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say, honestly. Very hard to say. Berserker, who knows? All right, well... I'm up here, and I hit like a truck. Boy, every time I take the sharpshooters, I want to shoot down. I want to shoot across the map, but then, every, then I'm like, no, hold on, I gotta come clear these guys out so I know it's safe to shoot across the map. And I just keep going back and forth. I could pop a reload here on Johnny Five. I don't think we're gonna actually need the shredstone much to be. Oh, oh yeah, there is a way to do it. All right, so that being the case, let's pop a reload. I don't think I'm gonna need the shredstone, so I want to just use it now. We already killed like the ginormous hey, thing. <laughs> yes. Yes, that just was something that we said. <laughs> what? What? Oh. Okay. Um, what was I doing? I got double tap if I pop a free reload. Which, you know, at this point, we could serial the universe, really. So let's, let's indeed pop the reload. We'll go for a double tap. We'll just try to get everything prepared here. Okay, I don't want to shoot my own mech. I do want to shoot that mech. I don't know if Fatterday will be able to kill it. And got a 50% over there. We got a 77% over here on the officer. I kind of want to finish on the officer with like a precision shot though. So let's start the double tap up. I think by shooting actually the berserker. 89% cross map from the same elevation. That's a long map. Very long map. What do we hit for? 11? Oh, birdie! Okay, beautiful. And now let's do it again with a precision shot, but this time we're going to go for the officer. Berserker, heavy mech, heavy mech, elite officer, precision shot, 85% with 52% to crit in the back. Is this worth it, though? Honestly, because I can shoot the officer and probably one-shot him. I mean, I got a 93% to hit for 17 to 22 with a 67% to crit. If I shoot the mech, I will get it low enough for Faraday to serial. You know what? The combo with Faraday to serial is probably better. And I can shoot the Berserker and then we can serial even more. So let's go for the precision shot then on the mech. As I was saying before, I think. No, I shoot that. Yeah, I shoot that. And then Faraday shoots the officer. Elite officer, 10 to 15, 85% cross map. Beautiful. I'm looking through my own gun. Can't even see what happened. Only hit it for eight. Mm. No crit there, which means very little damage. What's How much health does he have left? Oh, he's on fire, though. So, great. We don't have to worry about him. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot then over here. 88% on that heavy mech. 14 to 19. 46% crit, believe it or not. Okay. He's a little bit softened up now. And I think it's almost time for the fatter day to get engaged. I think it's almost time. Should I... Thing is, though, I could screw this up pretty royally if I don't do it right. Um, let's just do it and probably start out doing it wrong. We'll go for an 80% to start, I think. 10 to 15. Is there anything else I need to shoot that has, like, 10 to 15 hit points? Well, the mech, but we're not going to go for that. 
something else can kill it. Uh, actually, right here. Right there. Let's take this one first. It's 100% guaranteed. Poof. Okay. Now... Nice, hit for 12. Now I think I'm gonna go for this 80%. Even a graze should probably kill it, maybe. Well, actually, if I min-rolled and then also graze and then it down-rolled, I do four day. I could actually graze it for one, I think. Yeah, because it comes after armor, so I'd have to actually hit the 60%. Maybe I shouldn't do that, then. That seems a little dondrous. I kind of want to wound this mech with somebody. Who can wound the mech? Alma can run back and wound the mech for sure. Does she need to do anything else anywhere else? No, I really don't think so. Okay, so we'll have her come back. She'll just lay into the mech a little tiny bit. Just a little bit. Be like, hi, mech. I'm Alma. Oh, well. Okay. 24% crit. There goes that guy. Jeez. This is like out of control here. Let's go for the 100% again with Fetter Day. Make sure we don't have to deal with this nonsense. Target eliminated. Uh, Berserker, no chance. Officer, no chance. Mech, decent chance. We still have that 60%. The damage is as long as we don't graze and don't miss, we're good. 60% cross map. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yep, fatter day. We're seeing all right. Hit for seven, beautiful, pop a reload. Now, do I want to run down the street here with Razor? What's our chance? 75% for 14 to 18 with 23. Now that's interesting. Because I'm thinking, why bother with that when I can do other stuff? So let's go for a holo target now. We're going to do a holo target on the Berserker with fatter day. Followed by a holo target on the Stun Lancer with fatter day. Fantastic. Let's get Razor down the street as per usual. We're going to do a 91. Wait a minute. Hold on. Does he not have Lone Wolf right now? He very well might not. Could I get it by coming up here? Sure could. Let's do that. Screw 91. And let's do a hunt. No, it's 93 for whatever. He must have a ton of evasion or dodge or whatever. Regardless, 93 is better than 91. Razor 16 to 20 with 47% crit. Slice and it dies. Super very nice. And for a 19, not even like a crit. Wow. Okay, well, I hope Stun Lancer just decides to attack him with a sword because that's not going to work for him, but I'll laugh hysterically. Meanwhile, what the heck do I do with Sean? I'm not really sure. It's a really good question. I don't, uh, I don't know the answer to these questions. Should I run up here? There's a lot of stuff down there. I don't know what the heck it is. Should I run, like, up here with Constantine to get ready to, like, shoot something? Or, or like, I guess? Bin gleich da. Philippe is here as well. Shoot. Can move him up. Should I go for a suppression on the... Oh, wow. I got a 47 with 20. Oh, yeah, because he's hollow target. All right, sure. 47, 21. Take it. Miss. Like they really want Ian and Yuri. Okay, Sean does have the ability to shoot once. He could shoot this. No, he's got to move, but he's only got four hit points. I'm so worried about him. I don't want to just, just like, let's like get out of here, right? Just like, see you later alligator kind of deal although where can i really maybe i should have suppressed this guy so he couldn't turn around and shot sean in the back which quite frankly he can do now thanks to me being a doofus i could run over here and kind of have some cover oh boy oh boy i don't like any of these places run over here and i don't know if anyone can see him through all these windows but i would think they would be able okay here the stun lancer can't see him and nothing else can see him away he goes as good as we can do, I think. Come get some. And we got Ever Vigilant. Forgot he even had that. All right, got a burning for five, thanks to Dragon Rounds, and a burning for one, thanks to Dragon Rounds. Definitely, that's because this one was hollow targeted, I believe. I don't know how hollow target increases the fire, but whatever. Vina Jacob. Okay, M3 Gunner over there. At least we know they're over there, but I do have to go deal with them. Oh, God. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you made a mistake. Are you <laughs> we didn't even get to see it. <laughs> didn't even get to see it. Come on, Berserker. Huh? Come on. Sean, learn him a lesson. Get your two hit points well poisoned. Oh. He just smacked my mech for like three. Unbelievable. 
Officer moves around because he's burning. Oh, Stun Lancer moves around because... Oh! Oh, right! Sean's poison! Forgot all about that. Heavy Mech is still... What the... Oh, right! Johnny Five had to level the street because, you know, why not? Well, Fetterday only has the one shot, so the one shot is the shot we'll maybe take, but not quite yet. Because I might want to do hollow targeting again. 89% here. Mmm. I guess. I don't need this to, like, work super well. Or even, I mean, he could just probably burn to death at this rate. God, this... Oh, no! Come back, map! I just see the... Okay, we're looking at six hit points. Uh... Alma, what are you doing over here, Alma? Get in the get in the fight! For God's sake, just standing around in the middle of nowhere. Where is everybody right now? This is the most I've never had a squad so spread out in my entire life. Let's move Fleep to this corner and see if anything happens. Nope. Okay. Ooh. I kind of feel like there's not a huge amount of point for me to move much. So maybe I should just like hang out here and let them all run to me while I go on Overwatch. The only thing I want to do is make sure Sean survives, which I might be able to do here with Ian with an aid protocol on him. Is he like the last person on the list? No, but he's pretty close. All right, he's right over there. Fantastic. Now I could do an... Well, I could do this and hit the Berserker for six. All right, let's do it. Let's just take him down. Now, let's go get our mech, actually, in the in the thick of things here. See what he can do. See what he can find. Berserker's down. Our mech can come right down here and be like, Hey, guys, I'm a mech. What's up? He's pulling an over... Oh, what the... Sean... Oh, he's... What is he What is he doing? He just 14% missed. I guess he was still on Overwatch and... Wait. He's panicked on Overwatch. I don't know. Whatever. I just give up even trying to figure out how things work in this game. Let's go to Razor and see what kind of range we have. Answer. All the range that anyone could ever want. All of it. 83% first sergeant. That's not enough to kill it. You know what would make it enough to kill it? Is if I could get a holo target here with Fetter Day. You know how I could get a holo target with Fetter Day is by... Um, remembering how the hell to go into debug camera. I don't actually remember. Is it... I don't... Oh, I almost hit backspace. Is it... Not... Hmm. I actually don't remember how to do it. Dot? No. Huh. All right. I used to do it somehow. Hmm. Someone let me know how to do the debug camera. I guess I could go look it up. Will Faraday be able to see from down? I'm just going to guess that he can. He can't. Oh, well. well. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Razor, let's come back to you. Let's take this slicey dicey anyway. 83%. That's enough for me. First sergeant, 14 to 18 with 26% crit. Get in there. Get right on in there, right across the street. Hit for 14. Well, that's a mineral. And he's not even burning. Hmm. Can't do anything with Philippe unless we want to command, which, quite frankly, I'm not even sure if we could if I wanted to, because, nope, Alm is so far away. <laughs> Messages? It's like 6 in the morning. Who the heck's messaging me now? Let's go on Overwatch here. Philippe Overwatch. For God's sakes, why message at 6 in the morning? Overwatch. Oh, oh my God, really? Uh, uh, I don't know what to do with my own car. I'm just going to run down there and get ready. Wow. I thought I could do a hell of a lot more. Do I seriously have to pause playing and go shut off steam noises? 54%. Constantine could move over here and get a flank, but this officer is going to be able to run up here next turn. Okay, this one more time... All right, well, that's taken care of finally. I think I want to move Constantine over here and execute this. Uh, uh, actually, I don't think I'll do anything. I'll just move over here. Look at the fact that I could execute him. But be really worried about actually doing it. And then do it anyway, because who cares? 
Forget concealment, but we can... Ooh, that looks good. We can shoot that stun lancer for 10 billion. Nice, there goes our concealment. We do indeed still have the mech, so we can... What? You don't get a step out... Uh, I should have known. And we graze because we don't have a step out, unfortunately. All right, Officer Burns, but should no longer be burning. Correct. I'm worried he's going to come up here and shoot Constantine, but, you know, he'll probably move in Mark, worst case. Or shoot our own mech or whatever. We still have this gunner over here I keep forgetting about. Like he killed Ali Quayam, who I think is not a rebel. I have no... Oh! 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 It's like... What the... How do you not get combatives again? I, I constantly forget, because I don't give him nano, that's why. So he rolled like a crit or whatever, and that's how it hit, maybe? So I have to- I keep forgetting to give Razor nano. That's like the 15th time he's taken a wound because he's got like a 2% chance to get hit and it rolls into a crit somehow. I'll probably forget though. Okay, Officer Dusmark shoots their mech. Thanks, guys. You're making it a lot easier for me. I got two guys up there, if I can remember. Meanwhile, Razor actually might die here. Please tell me he's not... Oh, thank God. He's bleeding out. 68% and he's crit on top of that. Wow. Well, we'll see Razor at the end of the game again. 94% all the way down there. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't want to take that. Let's go for it. Faraday literally across the map. This is ridiculous. What the? Right through like 16 heads, including mine and ENs. I guess we killed the guy that didn't feel the need to show me. Not that I would have needed to see it to know that it happened. Hey, who has a med kit? Alma? If anyone? Zawadi has one. This is actually really bad. Because Razor's bleeding out. Alma, do you have a med kit? No. Ian. No. All right, well. We're going to have to do like an all-out race across the universe then. Zawadi, you're going to pop a free reload. Sure. Dash down here like a maniac. Philippe, you're going to actually have to dash down here like a maniac to get ready to pick up Razor next turn. Wow. What the hell have I done? Just I, I was so bored of this mission. And so I wasn't really thinking it through. It's like, obviously I'm going to win. It's just going to take 700 years and I got to watch people kill all the things. Uh, Johnny Five. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Johnny Five amazingly somehow has a shot over here on this officer and he's flanked? What the heck is that a case? Oh, because he's, he's in a doorway. What? All right, whatever. 56% Johnny Five. Boom. <laughs> well, there was an officer, I guess. Hey, guess. Donkey, mule, burrow. Yes, precisely, Johnny Five. Um. All right, well. Roger that. This is actually kind of lame because I can't do anything. Good to go. Can't believe that stun lancer just went down there. What the hell, Razor? He should have just combatives it. Ah. Uh, he still would have got shot in the back, but. Where can I go? I know there's actually two guys over here. Can I get like a flank on either? I could get a flank on that one with Constantine if I came down here, but then we're exposed to the shock trooper and that's going to be like a guaranteed hit. That is a guarantee. Can I come over here and flank? No, I could suppress the shock trooper though, maybe. Could shoot. No, not a huge fan of that. Sean, it'd be nice if you could stand up. Maybe my mech could just fire a missile over here. Take this guy down. Speaking of my mech, how long is this my mech? Two player turn starts. That's fine. Do I even need ammo, really? I don't think I do. I think I want to run over here like a doofus. I'm assuming I can just shoot right... What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? What the... Stop... He's pretending! He's faking it! Get him! It's freaking crazy. Oh, yeah, and the one time I can't... No, I can do it. I can do it. Calm down. Everybody calm down. Calm down. There was a t Always a tile. I don't know how the hell there's a tile to shoot through a roof, but there's a, always a tile. I saw it. It was here, for sure. Uh, Pixel Hunt 2K18. All right, it was like here-ish. Uh-huh. Oh. I know it's like right here. I saw it. Come on, guys. 
This is I'm getting to the point where I'm just gonna use the console to kill the stun lancer. And then just not use the missiles, because this is It's right here. I literally just had my mouse here and now I can't find it again. Alright, I'm done with this. I've been doing this for like four minutes. I've seen it twice and I can't find it again. So we're not gonna use the missiles. Uh, I'm going to set hit points zero. Good day, stun lancer. Like freaking hell. All right, that's the end of the mech's turn. Uh, and I think, if at all possible, if I could get a spot over... Oh, wait, from here I would be able to see that stun or a shock trooper. I'll get down there with Constantine then. I guess I could have done it from up here. I didn't really see that. That would have been a much better shot. Uh, anyway, we're going to suppress this guy. Although even suppressed in the high cover, that's probably a stupid idea. So we get the mech who's done, and we're going to run up here with Alma, and then that's the end of the turn. All right. I lose a stun lancer corpse, but whatever. Pixel hunt. Okay, these guys look to be coming closer. Oh no! Oh no! Is that my grand? Oh, Grace Thayer. No idea who that is. I think this one might be my engineer right here. She looks familiar, for some reason, from some prior mission. I'm not sure if she is or not. Grenadier moves over and shoots the. Oh no! He's actually gonna throw a grenade on the back of the super heavy mech. Who is immune to fire? Now, amazingly. Hold on, hold on. So while suppressed, Shock Trooper just kills my mech. With a critically hit, no, no less, 17%. While suppressed, that's crazy. However, um, I just learned that the Advent Burnination Grenades don't do damage to mechs, but XCOM Burnination Grenades do. Obviously. I mean, I don't know why anyone would have thought that that would be anything other than that. <laughs> like, Alright, uh, number one. Philippe, let's pick up Razor. Number two. Let's just, like, toodle the hells out of here. Before we do, how f close can I get here with Zawadi? Pretty close. We can get down to there. Um, back to Philippe now. How far can we get? Very close. We can get back to here. So next turn, I can put him down and, and stabilize Razor. Whew! That's taken care of. Meanwhile, Faraday is just, like, Way down here. Go, go, go. Uh, Ian, can you just run down and find that stun lancer and just do a happy kill on him? Okay, you can't find. Let's pass her discharge. I don't care. To kill him. Thank you. Oh wait, I already killed him. What a moron. The fact that his animation's still there because even the set hit points doesn't kill the guys. Well, this is a huge problem right there. Even suppressed, I don't feel like dealing with that guy. Sean, can you do anything about this? Not even close. With a command, you could. But I give you a command. The answer is probably not. Oh, actually, yes, I could do it from right here. Okay. Would you be able to safely get in there? Yeah. But even if you did, your both battles isn't necessarily going to kill this guy. Unless... Fetterday can hollow target him. No, he already ran down the street. Yeah, I don't want to run Sean into like a crazy fiasco, so let's avoid that for now. Let's get Johnny 5 dash down here a little bit. Uh, we'll get me dash down here like a lot. I'm all over it. I think we're going to pull Constantine back because I'm really worried about all this. We'll just run back there. Sean, you've done your duty. Just get out of here. <laughs> just, people are just running all the hell around the street. Up and down and all around. <laughs> imagine the imagine in real time if you were like a civilian just sitting here watching this. Like Escobs just running up and down and back and forth. Absolute chaos and madness. Uh okay, let's get down here with Alma into the high cover. Beautiful. That's the turn, I think. I'm on it. Wow. So we got one pod, and we've got a shock... Oh, my potential engineer! Yeah. Xiao Jiang Liang. I think... Or maybe she wasn't the engineer, but she definitely looked familiar. Grenadier over here. What? 44% it's Johnny 5 for 5. Please don't have a shot, shock trooper. Oh, thank God. He didn't take a shot. Okay. Now, first and foremost, we got to stabilize Razor. So let's come over here with Philippe. That took a long time to register my click for some reason. Are we, did we activate? No. Alright, let's put him on the ground. Did we put him on the wrong side? I... Yeah, okay. So, he's just in the air. 
Just floating in the air. All right. Well, we'll stabilize him. All right. Can I just, like, everything go to hell? Yeah, I can definitely do that. Everything to hell! 0.76 tiles, Ulma. Now we're talking. Hey, guys. Let's, uh... Where are my character? I'm over here. I can go... Where do I need to go to be able to see through all these things to see the guy? Is there actually no place I can go where I can... No, I can see one of them. Should be able to see the shock trooper somewhere. Nope. No matter where I go. Interesting. Even if I was over here, I can't see the... Wait. Here I can where Alma is. I wanted to do an Oscar Mike with Alma and then move Alma. Oh, wait, no, Alma already moved. All right, never mind. Okay, maybe Constantine can take this guy down with a 77%, or I could get in the elevation, maybe. Nope, no. Let's just shoot, 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 kill, go! Okay, we hit 414. Journey 5 can probably finish that off. I can kill the Grenadier, no problem. All right, let's do exactly that then. Get Journey 5 right in his face so we can't fail this operation. Run through the fighter, don't care. 90% shock trooper with graze. Yep, good luck, guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, free loot, too. Journey 5 seems to like that insult, apparently, a lot today. For reasons unknown. Let's run up here with me. Shoot through this window somehow. Kill this guy, 91%. Boom. All right, one pod remains. And we get more that, loot. Right? All right, and then Fetterday probably may actually be time to get up here and start, because that other pod's pretty close here. Let's get set up to combat them Running. pretty soon. And then, Sean, you actually can just leave, to be entirely honest. I don't even need you here. Let's go for a steady with Z Zawadi, just in case we have a shot somehow. Yeah, here they come. Perfect. M Although not perfect, because M3 Gunner, M3 Stun Lancer, M a Longbow, M2 Longbow. That's just the last remaining guys, though. Oh, God. No, don't wound my Johnny Five. Nice. Malfunction. 47 with 18%. No, don't wound the Johnny Five. 46 hit for one, but that's it. Alma, it's time. It's time. Oh, is it ever time? Rockets ahoy! Yes! Yes! Hit for six, critically hit for ten. Really, the Stun Lancer still has cover there somehow. All right, well. I gotta kill everything right now somehow. Can I? I have a shot, 90% on the gunner. That seems like a viable thing to me, although I could also kill the mech. Probably anybody can kill the gunner. Let me move up and I'll probably shoot the mech instead. Because that's going to need a hell of a lot more uh, finesse. 86% looks good. Let's see the finesse, shall we? Better than all the rest. Look at that finesse. Look at that finesse. Hit for 13. Ooh, Fatterday actually has a shot over there. Let's go wherever the heck he is. Yeah, right there. Rapid target looks good. Take a shot. 90% elevation. Cross map. Through a wall. Through a window. Through a stun lancer. Hit for 8 with a 91%. Oh. <gasps> Oh, boys! Boys! Yes, Philippe, 92%! Slicey dicey! Across the universe, Philippe, why do you have a fanny back on? What the hell are you doing? Where's this future? What? Hit for 10? How is that even a thing? Why are you wearing that thing on your back? Seriously, what is wrong with you? It's just, it's like, what out of style in the 80s? It's like 50 year old style. Philippe's bringing back the reverse fanny back, apparently. Why is it even called that? Ugh. Uh, regardless, let's just do an overdrive here with Journey 5. I don't even know what's going on anymore. It's 69%. Come on, animations. You can do it. You can do it. Hollow target 2. Boom. Oh, nice. Clear swing and a miss. I still want that 64%, though. Let's see it, Johnny 5. There we go. That's the shot. Ooh, another loot. Oh, we can do this one, too. 31%. Oh, well. I really wanted to rack up kills there in Johnny 5. So he's going to be wounded for, like, no time at all. Razor's going to be out forever, which actually really sucks. Constantine, you could use a kill, but can't get a kill, so... 
What the heck's going on with Razor? He's just like, he's got two. <laughs> oh, it's delete. I remember the key now. Yeah, there we go. He's just like, this is just like what Razor's doing. He's got two action points. It's floating in the air. This is a little bit of, oh wait, no. Alma did not end her turn. So perfect. Let's do an Oscar Mike then. Let's get Constantine way the heck up in there. This I'm pretty sure is the last guy. Hope I didn't lose my engineer. That would be sad. 94%. It's dead. Beautiful. Even got some XP on the person who needs it. Whew. Well, if that tower was not on the roof, well, I might have been able to do it. I mean, it's pretty easy because it was on the roof. And I actually forgot about the fact that I can hack it. Which makes it just a one shot. But then again, both battles, you can actually hit it from nine tiles away with 100% accuracy. Minus, of course, the graze band. So I didn't even need to, I could have been anywhere on that roof, or let's say it was like in a wall. All I had to do was get within some sort of visual range of it, and I could have hit it for like, at a, how much is the both battles actually? I forget, was it like 30? And it had 48 hit points. I would have had to do a little bit more, maybe a rocket here or there, or maybe like a, a command, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I might have had a hard time with it. Who knows? It wouldn't have been that bad though. You bring a ranger with grapple, with a ton of speed, with a command, with Oscar Mike, and you can probably get it done, but I would recommend giving that Ranger life support because he's probably going to need it. Unfortunately, Razor took a beating from my carelessness, but I'm not really sorry about it. I mean, I'm just this mission. The big maps can be... <laughs> They're... Uh... Imagine living in New York City and you got to walk to work. Or any city, I suppose. And your your work is like 10 blocks away, and you get there and you forget your keys. And so you go back to your apartment and you're like, damn it, I remembered my keys all along. They're in my pocket. Why didn't I think to look in my pocket for my keys? Then you go all the hell the way back to work and it's like, oh, time for lunch. Then you go all the way to the lunch place and it's like, oh, gotta go back. Then you go all the way back to work. You're like, damn it, did I leave my keys at the lunch place? And then you go all the way back to the lunch place and you look for your keys again. You're like, oh, I left them in my other pocket. What kind of moron am I? Come on, every one of you knows you've done that. That or like you're looking for the freaking remote control for like the television or something. And it's literally in your hand and you're super frustrated and you can't find it. But then you find out you were holding it the whole time. Everyone's done it. It's certainly not only geniuses that do stuff like that with somewhat common repetition. Certainly not. Also, what the hell am I even talking about? Mission's done. He all-star MVP player. Probably Sean. He made a really gutsy move there to enable that victory to unfold. It almost cost him his life, too. Uh, I don't... Yeah, everyone... I don't even understand what the hell everyone else did. They just ran down the street and ran back and ran up and down and all around. I don't remember. I think Constantine took two shots. I think I took, like, two shots. I'm not even sure if Philippe took a single shot. I, I think he shot the the sectopod for like max roll 45 damage with a single rapid fire but i mean yeah whatever he can do that all the time then he then he literally i think that's the only thing he did the entire mission was shoot that sectopod once and otherwise he just ran all the way down the street and all the way back looking for his uh, keys apparently better day was pretty useful but not that useful all things considered en was kind of good but not fantastic. 24 days on Razor. Well, could be worse. Also on Razor is what I like to call a bit of the old rapid fire. Fantastic. 14 days on Sean. I gotta remember to switch my things and give Razor that nano scale so that never happens again. Thank God I remembered to do that. Razor, where are you? Okay, I, I do like the fact that he's immune to stuff, but no. No more getting hit for like, this is like, I think literally the third time. He has failed a combatives roll with 20 native dodge, mind you, and he still gets like crit by the stun lancers somehow. So this will make it so I think he will always succeed. Always. Uh, meanwhile, the other thing I needed to do was Ulma needs to drop out her gun. 
Then I gotta go find Sean, wherever the heck he went. And give him his gun back. And then go back to Alma and be like, hey, here's your gun. Beautiful. All right. Everything's taken care of. A little bit of wounds there, but we can handle it. India is... Oh, no, nice. India is safe. Uh, Catholics recover from wounds. Great. We didn't... Jaden Bernard. Bernard. So whoever that person was, they were a rebel of import that I have since forgotten. But I remember at some point they were pretty awesome. Although I don't remember anyone else here. Shi Yu Hu, Yuan Yin, Kiana Akbar. Kiana Akbar? Why didn't Kiana Akbar die randomly so we could have like a purple haired character come in and then save the day? That would have been fun. I don't remember. I don't know any of these people. Huh. Well, we're down uh, four rebels. Should I recruit back up? Not really, because by the time I recruit back up, it takes like a couple months to break even. I think I'm going to be done the campaign in a couple of months. Uh, unless I am not. But I mean, honestly, I can't take playing three hour missions every single mission. It's too much. All right, supply rates coming in here. That means this smashing drive is going to be like impossible. West Asia is pretty much done for. So I think we're going to uh, abort this, this region. We're going to leave like six people on Intel. And I think maybe everyone else will just... Let's just put everybody on hiding. And let's put everyone who's knowledgeable on Intel. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, we'll do four on Intel, I think. Yeah, we're just going to abandon West Asia for the most part. We'll keep uh, Juan Pablo there for now. Still have to do that network tower. I would like to level up a little bit more. Wait for Yuri. Drigory, yeah, eight days on that, maybe. Boy, lots of people are wounded. And supply drop in eight days. Okay, well. Where should I be spending my time? Should I go get that resistance mech? Avenger plotting new course. Might help. Maybe, I mean, there's going to be a retaliation soon. I'm surprised that there honestly hasn't been. Seven days. Very light recover item intel package. Sure. Catherick just got, well, I guess it's not really going to be a troop training operation because I think everyone's already trained up. But New Brazil, yeah, we can do that. What a random mission this is. And here we go. I just literally grabbed Deidre's doofy doofers. Uh, and wouldn't you know, this is a perfectly good squad. We got Grind already in here. Aloysius is in here. Hexagon is here. We've got all coil guns with these guys, which is... I'm not super happy with, but I'm not... I don't have any Illyrium to buy them anything different. Johnny Five will have to do the carrying. And, of course, we got Mitch here as well. Uh, not bad. Mitch apparently has some decent armor, too. So this is going to be a little bit weird. And we... The only person who can really do the hacking is going to be Johnny Five, but I think that'll be fine. It's very light as it is, so... As long as, uh... As long as we don't encounter too many crazy things, I think we'll be all right. Let's just dole out a few quick items of sorts... Uh, hair trigger, advanced hair trigger. I got seven of those, apparently. Looks good. Catholic, I don't even know. Do you ever take a shot? Who knows? Advanced autoloader, maybe. Hair trigger, sure. We'll give you one of those. Get an overwatch shot that's a little bit better. Aloysius, what even are you as a class? You're an assault? An assault that does what? I don't know. Elite laser sighting? Sure. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, and then meanwhile, grind. You're kind of an overwatch guy, right? So shouldn't you have an elite hair trigger? We don't have any elite hair triggers. How about some ammo? Advanced auto loader? Yeah, that'll help you out a little bit. And a Mitch, of course. All coil guns on this one. I'm not super excited about this, but we'll see. Should be all right. Do I need... I don't have any shinobis either. It's only 12 enemies at best, so I'll, I'll keep my um, battle scanner. Hexagon does have combatives, but as I've just learned, nanoscale. Yes, there you go. <laughs> No more not nano skill on anyone who has combatives ever again. Ooh, oh, we only have a level one arc thrower? I must have more level twos, right? Don't those take a lyrium though to build? I'm pretty sure. They're gonna be way down here. Arc blaster, five lyrium. That's the tier three one, yeah, gatekeeper. What's the advanced arc thrower, three lyrium? Yeah, we can't build any of those. That's unfortunate. Gauntlet mark two. We should have a three. Yeah, because we built. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, never mind. We don't have any threes. I'm lying. Gauntlet Mark II. Can't afford any of that. Bloody hell. This squad could definitely use some upgrades, to be honest. 
They're not the strongest, but we'll see how they pan out. Maybe they can get some uh, training. Well, maybe they'll all die. Either way, we'll find out in the future. Sky Ranger deployed. All right, let's finish scanning out a resistance mech. Avenger plotting new course. Am I going to find... I need a supply raid to get some, like, Elyrium. You know what I could really get Elyrium from is this uh, thing right there. But I'm waiting for a few more days to get all my uh, technicals ready. Where did that strength... Wait a minute. The strength actually came... Whoa! East Africa's back to being viable again at Strength 5. That's where the invasion came from? Okay, everybody on Intel. Huzzah! <laughs> what the heck? Uh, Hatteras Fontaine. He actually did something in this haven, as I recall, at some point. For now, though, let's put someone else in. Let's put in... I want someone good. Maybe I'll just throw Simon in here, I think, for now. Although I want to level him up, but... Just in case... I'm pretty sure we're going to get an invasion soon. Not an invasion, a retaliation. Uh, and when we do, I want to be prepared for it. How long till my shadow thing he's done? Eight days? Okay. And New Mexico, yeah, we're not prepared for that one, but we have very little activity there. We're good over here. We got four people on Intel. We got nobody actually recruiting over here, though, in Eastern US, but it's... You know what? We could probably, with four people, detect a um, jailbreak if we get lucky. So, what was I doing? Scanning up here. Chrysalid Autopsy, Anton Napavljuk, recruited to West Asia. Maybe I should actually pay attention to that. Nope, I actually should not. So, what are good. Keep scanning. Another new target. One day, 22 hours, that's not happening. Yeah, that's a liberation, too. Hey, by the way, there was another mission that popped up. Oh, I forgot about the troop column. Eh, whatever, it's strength eight. Oh, well, it's probably it probably would have been crazy anyway. And keep going. All right, Chrysalid, uh, Flechette Round. I don't even remember what those do. Cut through soft targets, doing bonus damage to enemies with no armor. Well, that's kind of rare at this stage of the game. And then the plating, of course, is decent. Berserker Autopsy looks to be the last thing that I even have to do. I don't want to render any more Elyrium Core. Although, then again, I was already rendering it. So I may as well just resume it because it just, I already paid for it. Then I'll have a little bit more Elenium. It's only going to take like two hours. Oh, there we go. Oh, by the way, there's a UFO on the map, apparently. Sign new research. All right, so it looks like Berserker Autopsy. I have paused engineering research and basic research research. Shadow armor is Elenium crystals. Plasma, all Elenium, Elenium, Elenium. Huh. Shadow armor is only 10 days. But the Elenium, though, three cores and 20 Elenium. It's out of control. And even then, I couldn't afford to build any of them. Gatekeepers give us a core and 10 alloys. The Dromedons give us 6 and a core. Newton Elite, 6 alloys. Render Archon Corpse, 5 Illyrium. That actually might be a good idea. Because I don't need them. I have all my stunny swords, I think. How many do I have? I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go check uh, view inventory. And we're going to look for Archon. We have two. I might want to keep one because I'm not 100% sure if everyone has one. Okay. Pips are not mattering at all. Saeej picked up down, Shredder. Flush. Really? Flush Shred is a pretty good combo, especially when you have 84 aim. Huh. All right. I think I might give it to him by virtue of not wanting to pay too much attention to it. We got our resistance mech. So that's pretty cool. Where did it go? How do I even find out? I think we just hit the resistance HQ and we can see right here. So Western US is where it went. Useless. East Africa. I think that's the one we had from a long time ago. Western US though. It's a liberated region. Why do resistance mechs go to liberated regions? The only time I'd ever use that is if it gets invaded. Which, quite frankly, it could do, to be honest. I think I want to repeat this research to get another 5 Illyrium. Doesn't take very long. It's only 10 hours. And then in the meantime, should I hit up either New Brazil or New Arctic? Because we go uh, probably New Arctic. For sector one. And we'll the scout Arctic. for some supply lines incoming or what. Where could they even be coming from, though? 
literally nowhere. There's they can't reinforce. Wait, yeah, that's right. The they cannot reinforce New Arctic. It's completely cut off because I own all the regions around it. Oh wait, no, I don't. West Asia is not liberated. Never mind. They can pull the strength over there. All right, we'll scan here then. Ah, and now I actually have the Illyrium to do something. Should I get a Plasma Lance? It's actually not really worth it because I lose the Armor Pierce and I gain like 1.5 damage. So... It does gain an extra 10% to crit, which is good if you're going for crit specs. It could help out Zawadi by giving Talon rounds as well. So he get plus 20 crit. He could actually maybe use Kubikiri once in a while. So on that front, it could be useful. Otherwise, though, we really don't have very much to do. It's also 11 days, and it's going to cost us a ton of stuff. Then we'd be out of Illyrium. I'm just going to go for the Berserker this Autopsy. We're pretty much out of things to do at this rate. Pretty much. Let's go check on the AWC. Saeed is in here. No one's in here! Bloody hell! Who do I want to put in? I forget who was, like, really good. Um, it's an easier way to do this, I know, but walk, fire, aim, hunker down, up. Eh, it's okay. Sawadi, I've already checked him before. Constantine, Salvo, rapid reaction on Constantine. Well, he's not really specced for it, though, is the thing. I already went over that before. The Felts, I think, is going to be... Oh, yes, my new champion. Let's get the Felts Shadow Strike. Um, Eastern Europe, we just picked up a new person. All right, I'm going to just leave them as it is because I don't care too much about that. That region's up to seven. West Asia's up to eight. That means actually East Asia can be assaulted now from the West Asia, unfortunately. But if it happens, it happens. Just let it go for a little while. There we go. Two days, seven hours, hack a workstation. 22 intel, light, moderate. It's too low to do, though. Oh, 7 days, 19 hours, 26 intel, recover item from train. It's light, though. But it's 7 days, 19 hours. It's East Africa. This is Liberation 1. Very likely, yes. I have a mech there, too. I can do it. How long till my next mission's actually ready? 50%? Yeah, let's go gear it up. Alright, this is sufficient enough. I'm gonna bring myself... Ving Tanir is coming along. Constantine, Wade, Anthony, and Philippe. This is almost like a full-on Season 1 squad here. Interesting. 133% baseline, so we should over-infiltrate quite a bit. We're only going to have four shooter characters because Ving Tanir isn't even really here for doing that sort of stuff. But while I'm thinking about it, why don't I give him a bit of a, the old nano scale? Not that he has combatives, but just in case. Meanwhile, Philippe does have combatives. Uh, so does Constantine. They both have nano scale, so I got that much right at least. I can also build uh, some armors, right? What are they called? Chameleon? No. Spider? No. Where the heck are they? Oh, do I have to do this? the Proving Ground project for him? Yeah, I do. All right, well, this is good enough. Let's go. Then I'll go hit the Proving Ground really quick. Sky Ranger deployed. Okay, is the Proving Ground even doing anything? Yeah, we got Caterpiss Plating incoming. Let's go for the Plating. Chitin Plating, six days, four allies. Sure, we can do that. I did decide that I don't really want stocks or hair triggers or laser sights. But I do want all of the other things, which I already have done a lot of. So I'm going to have to go free those up. But not for at least like 11 days or maybe it's eight days total. Either way, that's fine. We're scanning up here in the new Arctic. Setting course for the Arctic. Not exactly sure what I'm waiting for here. To do this uh, network tower. Yuri's free in a day, so that's one thing. Alm is ready to go. Drigri is five days, so that's mostly what we're waiting on. Uh, let's go by class. 
I think the Feltz is standing around doing nothing, unless I just brought him on something. I don't think so. Yeah, this, he's just training Shadow Strike, kind of waiting to go on this mission. So it's going to be like the Feltz, and it's going to be four technicals, of which we're going to have three in five days. We should have one of these two, either Mitch or, or Catherick, done. I guess I could bring, like, Johnny Five or something and use him. This is, yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine if I could just find myself, like, another one Illyrium someplace. That would be so good. I could I could send everybody in there with plasma blasters or whatever the heck they're called. Well, I could send three people in there with it anyway. That would require rendering something, which I'll do in a second. Yuri's recovered. Looks like we've paused. I'm guessing our mission down here to recover item. Nope, we're at 69%. This one's at 80. Why did we pause? Did I recruit someone somewhere? Presumably, I didn't see it though. Victor's recovered from wounds, thank the heavens. Helloweave, Overdrive, Serum. I forget what that even does. Uh, I need to render something that gives me a Lyrium. Now, I know Faceless do. And I don't really need them for more things. So let's do that. We'll render in a uh, Faceless Corpse really quick. To get just enough to buy two more Plasma Blasters. Oh! Speaking of Plasma Blasters, well, wouldn't you know? There is some uh, new plasma bl Well, you only get two Illyrium for each one. You have one day, two hours here. Operation Torn Spire in Eastern Europe. Who is going to be leading this up? Josh Goodwin. And whoa, though. We all this is going to be really tough. Malik Kurtar is one of those people who... There's always one in every class. They just have to do something unbelievably stupid in the class photo. And definitely Malik Kurtar was the one. How much you want to bet? Malik Kurtar is not the Faceless. Uh, I'm curious to find out. This is actually going to be a pretty tough mission. It's Strength 7. It's Josh Goodwin with probably, like, a basic gun. I don't even know if I can do this. I'm not even sure if I should try. Because the Faceless, uh, they get rooted out even if you don't do them. And if I do try to do it... I think I'm going to die. What is, let me go find Josh Goodwin, wherever the heck he is. Yeah, okay, well, he's got a mag gun, at least. And some armor. He's got hail of bullets, he's got combatives, not that that makes any difference. He's got demo, which could be useful. He's got body shield. Alright, I think he can do it. I'm just gonna have to do a whole episode. You know, for once in my life, I haven't been complaining about always doing three-hour episodes. I guess I can just do, like, a short 20-minute episode. Or I do a faceless hunt with Josh Goodwin. All right, sounds good. Well, once we're returning, it's going to be Josh Goodwin going to hunt the faceless. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Why is he still alive? Oh God! Bye, Shad. You, this thing could hit you while you were moving. Certain what? It can't hit you while you're stationary, but it could hit you while you were moving. Now all these little guys are shooting through the holes at Shad. Twenty-five percent. No, he's poisoned. No, Advent has poison rounds, apparently. Someone else died. Matilde Milano. I don't know who that... Another shot.